Hey there, my friend. Welcome to today's video. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at the Fit Mother Project and the Fit Father Project. Today's video is all about better balance exercises for seniors. As we get older, our ability to have good balance truly is the quality of our lives. Maybe we're seeing it with our parents or maybe our grandparents. As you lose your balance and your strength with age, you lose your mobility, you lose your freedom. And we know so many people as we get older, we get more susceptible to falling down, breaking hips, breaking shoulders, and these things can truly be life ending. That's why prioritizing and focusing on our balance early is important. That's why I wanna shoot this video on better balance exercises for seniors. But first off, I wanna really just highlight the word seniors because Although we sometimes say these things, I need you to know that these are some pictures right here of some people in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and even 90s who are doing incredible things. They have phenomenal balance, phenomenal strength, phenomenal mobility. The stuff can be improved. Balance and strength can be improved with age. And these exercises and some of the things I'm going to show you are the foundational stuff to start working on. And I want to inspire you too, because regardless of what your age is right now or how good you feel like your balance is, this is an aspect of your health, your fitness, and your mobility that's worth improving. So let's talk about it right now. First off, philosophy. What is balance? Well, balance is our ability to maintain our body position through different uh, stability ranges. So I guess I could say this, we consider this balance, right? If I can stand on one leg. So I'm, in, I'm creating a less stable surface because only one foot's on the ground. And now if I move throughout space, can I maintain upright posture and position. Now balance is also, what if I got pushed? Can I catch myself? So your ability to activate your muscles, this requires a couple things. It requires strong muscles around your feet, your ankles, your hips, your core, which we're gonna work on. But it also requires training your brain because essentially this act of movement is our brain communicating with our muscles in the, through this thing called proprioception. Proprioception, essentially our brain's indication of where our limbs are in space in relation to everything. So we need to work on this. That's why the first step to improving your balance, I believe, is to learn to take off your shoes. I want you to get back in contact with the ground, to feel your feet on the ground, to get your feet back in, in contact with the ground. It's gonna help you develop this proprioception, scrunch your toes, feel that, because when you feel you're on the ground with your feet, you are able to have stronger balance. So one thing to do if you're used to wearing shoes all the time is to get something like this, like a broomstick or a rod, put it underneath your arches of your feet and start walking like this to open up that arch of your foot. Massage those tiny muscles that get no credit in your feet. They get slammed all the time. We wanna open these up, open that foot arch up and give these muscles a little bit of love because ultimately your foot and your ability for these muscles to be fluid and moving in your ankles is gonna be key because this is the root center of your balance. So we're gonna do that. And I actually wanted to bring a couple other pieces of uh, articles of shoes here. So this shoe right here is a bad shoe for balance. It's very puffy, it's very soft at the bottom. And what this means is when I try to put pressure down, it's gonna dissipate all over the place and the shoe's not gonna be nearly as stable as a hard foot or a hard soled shoe. So something to consider if you're trying to improve your balance, getting right footwear I think is very important. I'll do this barefoot for now because I think it's valuable. The first exercise is not as much of an uh, exercise physically as much as it is just a practice and it's to start to do more mindful walking throughout the day. So normally when we're walking, we're just walking, not paying attention to anything. What I want you to start doing throughout your entire day, pretty much everything you're doing, is as you walk, feel what it's like to walk. Feel with your attention what it's like to move your feet. All the micro motions, all my attention right now as I'm doing this is on my feet and the sensation of walking, mindfulness to that action. I'm not thinking about something else. I'm thinking about, uh, ex ex the ex I'm thinking, I'm basically in the experience of walking and moving. You do this throughout the day. You start taking mindful walks. You focus on your breathing. It will improve your balance because this is improving your proprioception. It's improving your brain and your whole body's awareness of where your limbs are. You can do different things, start moving, and fit, paying attention and feeling the mindfulness of those motions. Do not think that this stuff's not important just because it seems uh, a little different. This is the core foundation of training your brain's ability to feel your body in space, which is gonna improve your balance. The next exercise I have for you, in addition to mindful walking every single day, I'll move these shoes too, 
is to start working on some single leg stuff, some single leg step downs. So here is a step down. I'll put this here for a second. I want you to get one leg up on some elevated surface. It could be a stair step at your house, something like that. I'm going to load this glute right here. This right glute is loaded. Now keeping this glute strong, I'm going to lower myself until that foot touches and come right back up. Just like this, lower it till it touches, come right back up. This is working on my balance because I have to anchor through this one leg and I also have to keep these muscles strong as I move down, come right back up. So shown on the other side here, as I'm in this position, my foot is strong and anchored. My glute is activated as I come down nice and slow. This hip is not sagging like this, keeping it up and nice and strong as it comes down, touch right back up. If you're working on this and you're a beginner, this is where this handy thing that you use to open up those arches of your feet is very great, right? We're right here. I'm just touching this lightly. Look, even just one finger on this for added help, come down, right on up. Even just having this, you can even do it with one fingertip, down, right on up. This is just enough to help us, give us a little sensation, a little stability as we do this. I would say 15 reps each leg, two sets. Two sets of 15 on the right leg, two sets of 15 on the left leg. Very good. You can do this before your exercise. You can do this in the morning after a mindful walk. This will help work on your balance. Next thing I have is a special variation of lunges that I love for improving balance. It is a walking lunge with a slight variety that I think are very good. So walking lunge, I'm going to step, I'm going to come down. As I come up, I bring this leg up high and I step. So I'm down, firing up, step, turning around. Take that step, down, lunge. I'm loading this, both these legs, pushing up, pause, right on down. Up, pause, right on down. So these are good for people of all ages. If you have kids or someone in your family who's an athlete, getting in this loaded position and working on explosion, maybe even jumping through that hole, very good. But point being, you do these walking lunges, set a timer, walk for maybe 30 seconds, just like this, very good for your balance. You can even go backwards as a possibility as well. So walking lunges, very good. Next thing is a yoga posture. I think it's phenomenal for balance. Tree pose. So we're gonna get in nice stable feet like this, bring one foot to midline. This other foot here is gonna come, we'll start low, even right down here. Hands can be here, hands can be out, wherever you feel comfortable, but this leg here is giving me a little more stability in the balance. As you progress, you can bring that leg up higher. Maybe it goes, or you could fall, but maybe it goes right around that knee. Point being is you're gonna to progress to learn to feel more stable. Where is my attention? It's in the bottom of that foot. It's in this, this central line right here. That is the balance point. You're gonna work both legs just like this. You can put the foot anywhere. If you find that you have socks and they're slipping, take the socks off, right? It'll be easier for it to stay. But tree pose, something you can work on, start low, very low. As you build up more confidence, the foot may come higher. Your hands might even come up because this straight line here is a little more unstable. So if you can be stable in a less stable position, you have good balance. Now, final thing that I think can't be overlooked for overall health and fun is getting a mini trampoline. Phenomenal for balance. Phenomenal for strengthening uh, your body as you age. So getting a little trampoline and working on jumping on one leg, small bounces. There's so many benefits to a mini trampoline. It moves lymphatic fluid, it's great for your legs, it's low impact, it works your core. So doing trampoline in the morning to wake your body up, very good. You can play around with things, nice balance exercises. So you can get a mini trampoline for around 100 bucks, maybe even less. This one's a pretty nice one, but you can get cheaper ones that work just fine. It's a fun exercise for you, it will improve your balance as you age, it's low impact. So trampolining every single day, if you wanna work on your balance and your overall health, very, very good thing. So that's it, my friend. Those are some simple ways you can work on improving your balance, some better balance exercises for seniors. And remember, you can have amazing balance and ultimately it ends up being the quality of your life. So mindful walking, mindful movement all the time. You're gonna do the single leg step down on a step like this, working on that. Two sets of 15 each side. Walking lunges with that high step. Tree pose, both sides. And trampoline, if you have access to it. That'll help improve your balance. Thanks for being here, my friend. I hope you found this helpful. If you want more stuff like this on how to stay strong, healthy as you age, how to get your family healthy too, how to lose weight, build muscle, especially if you're a busy mom or dad in your 40s, 50s, 60s plus, 
than our Fit Father Project, Fit Mother Project YouTube channels, we are your home. So subscribe to our channels. You get access to all of our videos. You get notified when we publish hundreds of new videos this next year. You're gonna get all of those in your feed. And when you hit that like button too, it spreads this video far and wide and forces the YouTube algorithm to share this with all these amazing people. We would love for you to do that as well. So hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, drop a comment below if you enjoyed this video, if you wanna add anything else here. Thanks for being here, my friend. Best of luck to you in your balance journeys and your health and fitness journeys. We're here to help you. I'll see you around our channel and I'll talk to you very soon. Fitfatherproject.com.